On the 20th of April, 1945, as the U.S. Army occupied Nuremberg, the city of the Nazi Party rallies, the GIs found a desolate wasteland of ruins, where before the war began, one could still admire one of the most beautiful medieval old towns in all of Europe. Many priceless cultural monuments had fallen victim to Allied forces bombing. Most of the advancing GIs probably knew nothing of the existence of huge old cellars located under the Castle Hill in the northern part of the Nuremberg Old Town. These cellars had been used to store beer since the 14th century. During World War II, large portions of the rock-cut cellars served the population as a bomb shelter and beginning in 1940 had been modified for this purpose. Immediately after taking power, years before the war began in Germany, the Nazis began preparations for the long-planned war of aggression. Already a year before the outbreak of war, a concept was developed to protect valuable artworks. Then beginning in 1939, climatized cells were installed in an old former beer cellar near the castle. The entrance at Obere Schmiedgasse 52 was well camouflaged. In secret, an emergency power supply was installed in the old rock-cut cellar and the cells were insulated to protect against moisture and cold. Ventilation and heating further ensured that the valuable cultural items could be stored and protected from bombs down there for many years. At the time, this type of art bunker was unique in Germany. So for example, important medieval manuscripts like the Codex Manesse from Heidelberg were stored there as well as the Virgin Mary's great altar from Krakow that the Nazis had stolen after conquering Poland. Strangely enough, we owe thanks to the Nazis for saving many valuable works of art, such as the Manlein Laufen at the Church of Our Lady and the Angel's Greeting by Weitstoss in the Lawrence Church. but also objects of art from the Germanic National Museum, including paintings, engravings, and writings from Albrecht Dürer, Martin Beheim's Globe, and much more. All of these cultural treasures are from the period around 1500 when Nuremberg was at its influential peak, not only in trade, but also culturally in Central Europe. Even the imperial regalia were hidden down there, the crown jewels of the German emperors during the Middle Ages. For almost 350 years, the imperial regalia was kept permanently in Nuremberg. Before Napoleon occupied Nuremberg, they were sent to Vienna, and in 1938, after the annexation of Austria into the German Reich, the Nazis brought the crown jewels back to Nuremberg. On the 23rd of February 1940, the imperial regalia were put into the art bunker for safekeeping. Albert Speer, Hitler's favorite architect, under whose direction the Nazi party rally grounds were designed and partly built, also left many of his plans and designs in the historic art bunker. Man had in 500 years, etwa 25,000 Quadratmeter Kellerfläche, so groß wie vier Fußballfelder, per Hand mit Hammer und Meißel in den Fels gehauen. Meine Wahnsinnsarbeit, alles nur fürs Bier. Das macht du. Today, with guided tours, you can visit the place where the holy lance of medieval emperors was stored, along with the crown and scepter. Large parts of the technical installation in the art bunker are still viewable today. Also included is a photo documentation with original images and sounds reminiscent of the bombing. During the tour, the reconstruction of Nuremberg and how, in large part, the attempt to bring back to life the medieval character of its old town is discussed. Much of what was stored in the art bunker remained there until the 1970s, at which time reconstruction was complete and then the various items were returned to their places of origin.